Hi friends, Taylor here and happy July. <laughs> I am putting on my festive 4th of July shirt just because I love the 4th of July simply because of like all the traditions I had growing up that mostly involved barbecues and food. <laughs> anyway, not the point of this video. Today I'm going to be sharing my July hopefuls. Or I'm not very good at making a set monthly TBR and sticking to it. But last month I sat down and finally counted all the books that I had on my shelf that I hadn't read yet and the number sort of was like, Ugh. ooh. So until further notice, I will not be buying any books that I haven't read except for my monthly Owlcrate that comes because I love Owlcrate. Um, and I will be checking everything else that's like new out from the library or listening to the audiobook. Uh, until I can get this number significantly down. But until that happens, I'm going to pick a few books each month from the variety of different genres that I have on my shelf that are my hopefuls to read each month. So that is what I'll be sharing in this video. These are the, I think I have, I have four books plus two audiobooks that I'm hoping to get to in July from like my shelves audiobook reserves. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know in my July wrap. <laughs> First up on my TBR is Nevermore, which technically I'm like, I only have this much left. So I've already started Nevermore, but it, I'm putting it on here because I need to finish it. I was reading it a few months ago and then I went to visit my family for a couple of weeks. And then I didn't pick it up again when I got back. But I want to know what happens. I really love this magical middle grade story. I feel like it's been a long time since I read a middle grade that I just like absolutely fell in love with. And this one I am loving, which is why I'm also like, oh, why did I put it down? I don't know. I don't know. I don't can't explain my brain. This follows Morgan Crow, who is I can't remember if she's like born, she was born on a certain day, that meant she was supposed to die at 11, but instead she's whisked away to this world called Nevermore, where she has to, uh, where she has to then participate in these challenges and trials to see if she can be accepted into the wondrous society. So it is magical and fun, and if you love middle grade, I'm sure you would love this. I'm loving it so far. I'm excited to see what happens so I can then read the other two books which are also on my shelf. So Nevermore is the first book off of my shelf that I'm hoping to read in July. <laughs> the next book that I'm hoping to at least read more of, I don't know if I'll finish it in that July just because it is a slower nonfiction read and that is How to Be Anti-Racist, uh, which I've started reading a while ago and then I just like drop the ball on reading it. I feel like a lot of the way I've been like reading nonfiction lately has been through audiobooks which is why I kind of put this one down but I'm hoping to at least read a few hundred pages of this book. I know it definitely is a little slower going because there's just so much to absorb and that's usually how nonfiction goes for me but I am hoping to make a huge dent in How to Be Anti-Racist in July. So. Those are my middle grade and nonfiction picks for my bookshelf. <laughs> the next I grabbed from my romance shelf and it is called The Summer I Found Myself, which I literally know nothing about this book. It came in the book drop subscription, which I was subscribed to for a few months, which I stopped because I stopped all of my subscriptions except for Alcrate, <laughs> uh, just to sort of like stop getting new books that I hadn't read but this one obviously it's called The Summer I Found Myself so I feel like I need to read it in the summertime. Um, so July sounds like a perfect time to do that. I've been in a very big mood for romance and I got their, I think it's called their bubbly box which is always a romance selection. So like I said I don't actually know anything about this one. <laughs> I don't read synopsises very often so. I'll let you know how it is when I read it. <laughs> the last physical book on my hopefuls list this month is Arsenic and Adobo, um, which is one of my book of the month books because, guys, I have like 15 book of the month books that I haven't read yet. So I canceled that subscription until I can get caught up. 
Oh, yeah. Just because it's it just stressing me out. There's too many books. I know a lot of people love having like unread books on their shelves, but I've always wanted like a library, a home library full of books that like I love and I've read and would reread again, would read again. And so having one third of all the books on my shelves that I haven't read yet, it's time to change things. That's not anything about this book, but <laughs> anyway. Book of the month, I have plenty of those that I need to read, so I'm trying to read at least one each month to just read them all. This one follows Lila, who sort of is returning home, and I believe she is going home to help her family's restaurant, and shortly, like in the beginning, someone, sort of an enemy of hers, dies at the beginning when she's like a chef and so I think I think she's like a suspect um <laughs> whoops but from what I understand she obviously didn't do, do didn't do it so she's trying to figure out like who did this what is happening and my sister read this one I mean a lot of people have read this one but my sister read it she said it was very funny and like like the word that's coming to mind is whimsical whimsical but it's not like whim like it's not magical but it's just like a fun more light-hearted uh, a more light-hearted mystery novel so i'm very excited to read this one um i feel like it'll be a perfect summer july book so i will read that these are the physical books that i'm hoping to get to in july from my shelf um i also have two audiobooks that i'm hoping to finish and read or like listen to completely the first is malibu rising which came out in june everyone's talking about it you, i'm sure you know you've heard about it um this one i am about 50 percent of the way through listening to and i just haven't been listening to audiobooks for a couple of weeks because I've been having some writing meltdowns. Uh, more on that later. <laughs> um, but I really do love the way Taylor Jenkins Reid tells stories. I feel like I'm not loving this one as much as I loved Daisy Jones and the Six, but I'm still having a fantastic time listening to Malibu Rising, all about the Riva family. Like. And it's set in California, which I, I lived in California for a couple of years when I was in my early 20s and <laughs> I miss it. So it's just like so fun to hear about the ocean and like places I know or like know of, even though I didn't live exactly in Malibu. But anyway, the next audiobook that I'm hoping to read is One Last Stop. This is by the same author who wrote Red, White, and Royal Blue, which... I actually wasn't the biggest fan of mostly because I don't love political type books and so much of that book was like the political campaign campaign um but I am very interested in one last stop and like this whole premise sounds very intriguing to me so I'm definitely and I have the audiobook so I'm hoping to read the audiobook listen to the audiobook this month so so those are the six books from my shelves that I'm hoping to read in July. If anything changes and I pick something different from my shelves, that's fine. But I am hoping, I am aiming to read like four to five physical books from my actual shelves each month. I do use the library often, but so that might mean cutting back on library books. I uh, say as I look over my stack that's like I can't even fit in the frame because I have like 19 books checked out from the library uh so definitely not going to read all of those this time around <laughs> but that's okay I'll do more thought process on like why I'm trying to narrow down my t physical TBR and like why that's important to me in another video but that is my July TBR what are you hoping to read this month are we reading any of the same books? All of mine are backlisted, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, have you read any of these ones before? What did you think? Uh, please let me know in the comments. And as always, if you are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I post bookish and writing videos weekly on this channel and would love to see you around. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye.